Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Akib Academy of Mathematics. In this video, I will explain Newton Robson method algorithm to uh, Newton Robson method to find the real root of the nonlinear equation fx is equals to zero using Newton Robson method. The following steps are carried out. Step number one determine the interval on which the function has opposite signs. Step number two set the convergence parameter epsilon. Step number three Using Newton Raphson formula, x n plus 1 is equal to xn minus function at xn divided by derivative of function at xn, where derivative of function xn is not equal to 0 and n is equal to 0, 1, 2, up to so on. Step number 4 modulus of function at xn plus 1 is less than epsilon then x n plus 1 is the real root of the nonlinear equation. If modulus of function x n plus 1 is greater than epsilon, then go back to step number 3. Now I will explain this using a question. Here we have the question find the real root correct to three decimal places of the following nonlinear equation by using Newton Raphson method. F of x is equals to 3x minus e power x plus sine x is equals to 0. Now first step, step number, step 1. We will determine the interval on which the function has opposite signs. First we take f at 0 which gives us minus 1 which is less than 0. Also we take f at 1 is equals to which comes up to be 1.12322 1 which is greater than 0. Now here we can see that the function has opposite signs at 0 and 1 interval. So the root lies in the interval 0 1 now step number 2 let in step number 2 we take convergence point epsilon let epsilon is equals to 1 divided by 2 multiply 10 raised power minus 3 which gives us 0 0.0005 now if the function at x n plus 1 becomes less than this then that point will be our real root of the nonlinear equation step number 3 using using Newton Raphson formula which is x n plus 1 is equals to x n minus f of x n divided by f prime x n let n is equals to 0 which gives us x1 is equals to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f prime x0 we call this equation equation number 1 here f prime x is equals to we take derivative of this which gives us 3 minus e x plus derivative of sine is cos x now f prime at x naught gives us f prime at 0 0.1 
is equals to 3 minus e power 0 0.1 plus cos 0 0.1. Now, it gives us f prime at 0 0.1 is equals to 2.8898. Now, f at x naught is equals to f at 0 0.1 is equals to 3 into 0 0.1 minus e power 0 0.1 plus sine 0 0.1 which gives us 0 point minus 0 0.7053 put these terms in equation 1 which gives us x1 is equals to 0 0.1 minus 0. Point minus 0. 0.7053 divided by 2.8898 x1 is found to be 0. 0.3441 now f at x1 which is 3 into 0 0.3441 minus e power 0 0.3441 plus sine 0 0.3441 on solving this we find f at x1 is equals to minus 0 0.0441 1 which is greater than epsilon mod of this is greater than epsilon now again step number 3 f prime x1 is equals to 3 minus e power 0 0.3441 plus cos 0 0.3441 is equals to 2.5307 we find x2 is equals to 0 0.3603 putting this x2 in function we get minus 0 0.0003 modulus of f of x2 is equals to minus 0 0.003 modulus is less than epsilon so so the root correct up to three decimal is zero point three six zero three thank you guys